good morning student today we will discuss about the bone marrow aspiration uh, in this today's presentation we will discuss about the indications uh, the needle that is uh, that we use for the bone marrow aspiration then the contraindication and the complication of the bone marrow aspiration and in between i will show you one video uh, where we have uh, done the bone marrow aspiration of a of an old lady okay so bone marrow aspiration uh, is one of the procedure uh, uh, in which we aspirate the uh, marrow from the bone uh, to diagnose the different uh, conditions so the common indications of the bone marrow uh, bone marrow uh, are like like hematological conditions like uh, in the hematology hematological uh, conditions like uh, we do uh, bone marrow often in um, to diagnose the uh, hematological conditions like anemia which is not explained or not unexplained anemia uh, sometimes like the hemoglobin of the patient is low but we do not know the exact cause and we have to find out uh, the pathology in the bone marrow uh, second is like on like sometimes in un unexplained uh, uh, pancytopenia pancytopenia uh, like uh, we have to think about the, some pathology of bone marrow and then unexplained uh, uh, isolated uh, un unexplained unexplained uh, thrombocytopenia thrombocytopenia sometimes we have to do the bone marrow the disease the some of the disease that we, that is uh, that we diagnose after doing the bone marrow aplastic anemia is one important conditions we can which can diagnose by the uh, bone marrow aspiration and the biopsy second is like like different leukemias like leukemia we can diagnose by the bone marrow uh, then different like myelodysplastic syndrome, uh, myelodysplastic, myelodysplastic uh, uh, syndrome can be diagnosed by the bone marrow. Uh, these are the some of the conditions here, syndrome. Uh, and the one hematological malignancy that is multiple myeloma, it, like we have where, where you can see the plasma cell tumors in the bone marrow, multiple myeloma. Uh, these are the common indications of the bone marrow aspiration. Uh, uh, other indications like uh, due to in the infections like uh, Kalazar where we have to see the uh, Lisman Donovan bodies in the bone marrow. Uh, so if, if we suspect uh, anyone to have Kalazar then we do the bone marrow aspiration. Definitely uh, sometimes in, in case of pyrexia of unknown origin uh, we have to do the bone marrow aspiration uh, to find out the etiology. So these are the common etiology for, uh, for which we do the bone marrow aspiration uh needle in our in our day-to-day -day, uh, practice so the common site that we use for the bone marrow uh, in our in our in our world are like we use uh, most commonly the posterior iliac click uh, posterior iliac crest is a common site uh, though it can be done from the um, sternum it can be done from the sternum and even the uh, tibia uh, tibia uh, tibia uh, so these are the common site for the bone marrow, but mostly we use the uh, posterior iliac crest for the bone marrow um, aspiration needle. So uh, regarding the needles, there are two types of needles that we can um, use that uh, that I'm going to show you. Uh, like this needle is the, uh, uh, this the first one is uh, the uh, Salah's needle. Okay, this is Salah needle, Salah's needle, this one is Salah's needle. Where you can see the uh, there is the uh, yeah, there is you can see the needle here you can see the needle here then style it here and the adjustable guard here these are the parts of Salah's needle we need the uh, this adjustable guard because uh, in order to over penetrate uh, the uh, bone uh, bone and bone marrow so so that we can uh, like um, we can so it will easily cause the over penetration of the bone marrow that's why we need the adjustable guard. Okay, so another needle which you can use uh, uh, for the uh, for the bone marrow aspiration is the uh, Salah's needle. Salah's needle. So difference between the uh, sorry, Salah Klimas needle. This is a Klimas needle. Difference between the Salah's and the Klimas needle is that in the Klimas needle there is no the screw type of the guard. Like there is a guard, but there is no screw type of the adjustable guard. This uh, there is a guard in the Klimas needle, but which is fixed, which is the with the screw fixed even in this needle so there are there are two types of bone marrow aspiration, aspiration needle one is the salas needle another is klimas needles okay 
so uh, so i will show you one video where we have done the uh, where we have done the uh, bone marrow aspiration of a, of a young lady uh, a young lady okay just you watch this video uh, <laughs> Hello, Ama. I didn't have any. I'm a only duck, Chala. And we have to dry it and send to the pathology uh, for the for the test. So this is how we do the bone marrow aspiration. Uh, Mm, bone marrow aspiration uh, procedure in the ward. So, uh, so after disinfecting uh, the local site, uh, we have to choose the posterior iliac crest, and then uh, we have to anesthetize that part with two percent lignocaine. And after a few minutes, we have to check whether that side is anesthetized or not. Then we have to keep uh, the needle uh, through the skin, then the subcutaneous tissues, then the muscles, and ultimately to the uh, bone. And then you have to penetrate the bones and you have to go, you have to reach to, to the bone, mar bone marrow. Once it reaches to the bone marrow, the needle will be fixed uh, without, uh, like without uh, requiring your support. And uh, there is sudden loss of hair stains. And when you aspirate, uh, then like there is some pain to the patient. This is how you confirm the position. Okay. Then you take out the sample, you, you just put in the slides and you, uh, you make that slide dry and you can send that sample to the pathology uh, for the further analysis. So the contraindications of the, uh, contraindications of the uh, like bone marrow, uh, contraindications like uh, the common contraindications is the uh, osteo, severe osteoporosis. If the patient is severe osteoporosis and if you are uh, doing the bone marrow, then it can cause the fractures. So severe osteoporosis contraindication. Local site infection, like if someone has the uh, bone infection like osteomyelitis, then you cannot do. And if there is severe coagulopathy, then uh, you cannot do the bone marrow uh, aspiration. Okay, coagulopathy. So, the, so these are the contraindications definitely and the complications that we see are like we don't see much complication but patient can tell the one important complication of pain is the one of the important complications that they usually com uh, complain and then there can be a local site infection if you are not uh, if you are not uh, disinfecting the local site properly a uh, local site infection uh, then there can be the bleeding there can be the bleeding uh, from the site if from the site Okay, from the site, and definitely some patient may go into the syncope uh, because of the, uh, this pain, uh, like that. Okay, so these are the quite uh, these are the uh, complications of the bone marrow. So we have discussed the indications. We have discussed from which side we can do the bone marrow. We have discussed also the contraindications, and we have also discussed the complications. We have discussed the different data that we we use for the bone marrow. I think you have understood something about the bone marrow aspiration. Uh, aspiration. If you have any comments, then you can write in a comment section. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for your kind uh, attention.